for your first sample everything assignment, we're going to start with Adobe Spark. And the way you find Adobe Spark is by going to Hello ID. You can find it elsewhere. They have a really cool app that you can use. Um, I use it all the time on my phone. You actually sign into it the same way I'm going to show you in just a second. So you can install the app if you end up liking this, um, to like a phone or something like that. But the easiest way to first get to it when you're on a desktop computer right here is just on Hello ID clicking Adobe Spark. It's going to take you to a new page. And when you get to that new page, there's really just one way to sign in that's going to work real well. It's log in with school account. So you're going to click log in with school account. And then you're going to enter your student username, which would be uh, your first dot last at studentssd.org. I'm just using this test account right here. And then I'm going to hit continue. From there, you may get redirected, especially like if you're at home, to a Microsoft login page where you'd need to enter your for your uh, computer password, like what you used to log into the computer with at school. But for me, it just redirected me because I'm on a district computer and I've already signed in. It redirected me into um, this site right here, which is the home page for Adobe Spark. And all I want you to do for this assignment is create something. And I'm going to give you a little overview of some of your choices, but I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. I'll show you kind of some resources you can use as well. So you can create collages, you can create a web page, slideshows, presentations, Instagram posts, portfolio, all sorts of cool stuff. You can hit view up, view all up here, and then you can look at some of these different popular templates. These are all templates that you can edit. And so you can go through and take a look and see anything that looks interesting. And when you're doing that, keep in mind you can change any of this stuff. The templates are just an idea. You can change the text, you can change the image, you can change the colors. You can do whatever you want to any of these templates. But if you like something, you kind of like the vibe of the template, maybe you start with that and then customize it to your liking. For the purpose of this assignment, I'm just going to show you real quick. Here's one option. Again, you can choose whatever you want on Spark. Have fun with it. Click around. Create something you like and you're engaged with. Just explore the project or explore the tool. So right here, I'm just going to start this social graphic right here. So it starts off and you have all these different options. Anything you click, you can edit. So you can click these things. You can edit the text right over here. Watch out for this like little blue ring. It'll kind of guide you around. You can try to draw your attention to where you could go to take action. There are all sorts of things we can do. We can click start from a, a different template and we can kind of modify the look of the vibe on this particular template. We can add these sorts of graphics. If we look along the side here, there's text options, there's photo options. You can find free photos. There's icons, there's all sorts of design assets, different things you can put in um, as graphics. And so you could put in something like this block bit melt carton or something like that. Um, you have options to choose different backgrounds. You can create logos. You can actually brand yourself on Spark. You can make a logo that's kind of like your logo that you can put on all sorts of different things. And then there's all sorts of, you can actually create libraries as you go to, kind of add things and save them. And over along the side, you can modify individual items. So, you know, if you click an item, you have all sorts of different options of what you can do to modify it. So my big encouragement here is just play with purpose. Click and be intentional and kind of think about what is that, what's that doing? One other cool thing that you can do is you can add other people and they can collaborate. So if you have someone you'd like to work with on the same project at the same time at different computers, you click this button and then you can actually add people to come work on your post with you. When you're done, you can download your post. But for the purpose of this assignment, what I want you to do is create a share link and then post that to the discussion on Canvas for this particular assignment. So here's how you'll do that. Whenever you're done with whatever it is you make on Spark, whatever you make, you can hit the share button. When you hit the share button, you'll hit publish. And then from there, you have an option to hit link. You're going to click link. You're going to copy that link. And then you're going to head back to Canvas, hit the reply button, paste the link. I'm a big fan of control and then tapping the V key. And then here's a key. Tap space. You got to tap space after a link on Canvas to make it go live. When you do that, You'll then be able to hit post reply where my face is right now. Let me move my face so I can post that reply. And now I've got my post setting up. I will also add another video that is optional, but it'll be more of like a step-by-step -step guide of getting used to Spark. So if you want to have a little bit more guidance, um, as opposed to just kind of clicking and figuring things out, that'll be an option for you 
to give you a little bit more support and structure. And you can, of course, like always ask me or ask anyone around you if you have questions about doing something on Spark, and we'll figure it out together.